Welcome everyone to this beautiful, amazing, calm and serene Zorbada Buddha. And here we are to share with you the angel messages for your zodiac sign for the month of May 2018. So let's quickly get into it and begin with the sun sign Aries. This month the archangel who governs Aries, Archangel Ariel says, you are being guided to remain positive. There are triggers around you, but stay in prayers and affirmation to remain optimistic and solution-driven. Plans may seem to take long to manifest, but actually, you shall soon see a big change. With this message, Archangel Ariel and your guardian angels wish to tell you that things might seem at a little snail pace or you know just crawling like a little tortoise like a little tortoise sorry and you might feel that oh my god nothing is happening nothing is moving but actually at a very slow pace there is much amount of groundwork or background work that is going on and divinity is taking care of each and everything they want you to know to kind of not get swayed by some triggers in life that you may get. Triggers are people or events or emotions or things that kind of press on to our, you know, painful nerves as we say. But just respond, be in your calm, be in prayers and affirmative state so that you can kind of not jump into the reactive state when these triggers come around you. They say that though the pace of your plan seems extremely slow, you shall soon be seeing a very, very big change or transformation coming your way down the weeks. We now move on to the sun sign Taurus. This sun sign is governed by Archangels Shamuel and Archangel Ahriel. For the Taurians, the angels say, detox and maintain your auric and physical boundaries. Be strong and assertive while being loving. Take your power back in situations where you seem totally remote controlled. Use the power of no when required. Take and tailor your actions with confidence. This is a very, very important message and... Uh, Though it is kind of, uh, you know, uh, specified for Taurians at this point in time, this is a very important message for all of us as well. Because many of us cannot say a no. Many of us cannot, uh, you know, kind of refuse a person or an event or a situation. And we often find strangulated or kind of claustrophobic with the fact that I cannot express my honest self. So with this message, the angels are trying to tell the Taurians specifically in this month of May that maintain your auric and emotional boundaries. To maintain boundaries means to stand up for yourself, to say a no when you have to say a no, to kind of retreat and go back when you have to do it. And it is important that you do so for your soul. It is important that you adhere to this for the benefit and highest good of your own self. Many a times, again, that we want to do many things for people, we want to please everyone, we don't want anyone to get hurt, but in the bargain what we are doing is we are not pleasing anyone, least of all our own self. We are dishonest to our own self because we do not honor our boundaries, we do not honor our emotions. So the angels say that keep yourself in check and this month commit to yourself that you shall stand in the power of no when you have to. Over here, they also ask you to be lovingly assertive while being strong. Being assertive is to assert our presence. To be assertive in an arrogant or harsh manner is to kind of control or oppress someone. But being lovingly assertive means to be firm in what you believe, in what you're trying to say. And yes, we have company out there with all the quacking that's happening. And uh, they wish to tell you that you can be strong and yet assertive in a very loving way where you tell someone I don't think this is right I don't think I can take this behavior from you 
I would appreciate if you do not behave in this way with me. I would appreciate if you don't take me for granted because I don't think I can take this. And by doing that, you are firm, you are expressing yourself honestly, and at the same time, you're not getting into any karmic baggage of hurting someone or demeaning someone in any way. They ask you to tailor make all your actions specifically in this month with great confidence. There may be some events that may have kind of shaken your confidence, but the angels will bring it back and they want you to know that you do not ever need to give up on that. We now move on to the sun sign Gemini. The sun sign Gemini is governed by Archangel Zedekiel and Archangel Gabriel. The message says, be objective and bring balance. A situation may need you to retreat and change your stand. See the big picture and do what is best for everyone. Some of you are true empathetic leaders and some the stubborn ones whose egos rule. The latter need to bring about a change. Great things are in store. This is such a wonderful message and reminder. I'm a Gemini too, though I find a lot of traits uh, of uh, emotional balances or determination and willpower of a Taurian. Uh, and that too has a story behind it, why so? But nonetheless, the message for the Geminians this month says that we need to look into the bigger picture. Many a times we are looking at a problem like this. Many a times we are looking at our situations like this. And up so close, we do not see what is beyond. We cannot see the full picture. And it is like taking on an image and putting it right in front of your eyes or taking on a book and putting it in front of your eyes. And you may never be able to read the full sentence. So that exactly happens in our events in life, especially our problems, because we see them so head on and so up close and personal that we fail to see the underlying blessings in it or the lessons in it, or we fail to see the, you know, the larger picture of why this would have come into our lives. So the angels ask us to look at the bigger picture and that some of us who are stubborn Geminis, who have a little tinge of this ruling power ego, we need to kind of retreat. We need to kind of mellow down. We need to practice a little bit of patience and uh, humility in our lives so that we can become the true empathetic leaders that we are meant to be in our own field. And leaders may not be being a political leader or being a spiritual leader or so on. Leader could be a leader in your life. Leader could be somebody who is so inspirational that he or she is a living example for many to follow. And that is what we truly innately are, each one of us. So the angels ask us to tap into that. They also guide us that somewhere in some part of our life there may be an imbalance. So may, we may be workaholics and not looking into our life to pay attention to our needs, to pay attention to our passions, our hobbies, or the time to rejuvenate and relax. So we need to kind of slow down, retreat a little bit, take a sweet vacation. I am on a work vacation out here at this beautiful Zorba the Buddha. And I'm very distracted right now while I'm doing this video because these lovely ducks are gaining my attention. No, not really distracted, but I think uh, they are so loving and uh, so sweetly doing their bit, trying to dive into, you know, get their fish <laughs> and yes it's so calming to just look at them Gemini's the angels also want to tell us that there are great things in store for us and that the little change that we bring in ourselves is going to manifest into larger changes in our lives we now move on to cancer this sun sign is governed by Archangel Gabriel. The message says, an important situation will soon improve. Reach out for help and let go of any limitations. 
However difficult it may seem now, trust that it is going to turn around. Though that might take some time, let go of all your wounded relationships. Look forward to your new connections. Very empowering message for the Cancerians and the angels say that a long impending matter, something that has not been on a resolve, it could be a misunderstanding, it could be a case, it could be a matter, it could be an emotion that is unresolved or unhealed, but that is soon going to improve and it is connected to some wounded relationships in your life. And you need to pay attention. You may be escaping it. You may be kind of, no, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to see it. I, I don't want to face it. But you have to. And this month is going to be very, very imperative for you to do exactly that. The angels also are asking you to let go of any limitations and any ego to seek and ask for help. Many Cancerians are, uh, they may not be egoistic, but they consider themselves very self-sufficient and, and, you know, very there and no, I don't think I can take help from anyone. That's a good thing. That's a good attribute that, you know, I don't need to seek out. But it also may bring in arrogance and the seeking help part. So many times angels ask me to seek help from my other students and participant angels and, you know, people in my circle whose energy needs to be involved for some work. And there is no shame in asking for that assistance, for that help. And when we do that, we gain larger humility because of that acceptance of the fact that it is not in my hands and I grace somebody else to help me with it. And I grace God to make somebody else do this for me. It brings in that innate humility to surface within us. So release any limitations, let go of them and reach out to take help from your friends, relatives, family, whoever it could be, colleagues, associates or anyone. They want you to know that however difficult that situation or that relationship that has left you wounded may seem to let go, it is going to happen. The moment you intend and put your heart to it, that yes, I will do it, the angels are going to stride you for another 80 steps ahead and help you fulfill the same. Look forward to new connections, Cancerians, so that you can let go of the old and create space for the new vital to come into your life for important people and relationships to manifest. Now we move on to the sun sign Leo. The sun sign is governed by Archangel Radziel. For Leos this month, the angels say, seek guidance while making any important decision for the next four months. Introspect and be diligent in all matters of your life. Meditation and regular exercise will open your inner channels of clarity and intuition. Pray to be guided to the right path. This message is giving the Leos a little nudge to kind of not be overconfident in some decision-making matters that could be connected to some important uh, relevance in their lives. So seek guidance of people around you. It could be elders, it could be a mentor, it could be someone you look upon, whose advice you look upon and approach those people to make the important decision that you could be or have to make in the next coming four months right from May onwards. The angels ask you to introspect and be diligent in all the matters. Due diligence means doing our best in trying to find out the pros and cons of all matters in making an informed decision, not a judgmental one, but an informed one. A judgmental one is almost made on the surface of our perceived misconceptions or conceptions and belief systems that are governing us. But an informed decision is made with the combination of the head and the heart whereby both come together and the head and the heart combine the intuition and clarity that is present in all of us. The angels ask you to do regular meditation and exercise, yoga or any such form that could calm you down. You have a little bit of restless energy this month that could be, uh, you know, kind of hindering you in some way. But getting onto this meditative and exercise path 
the angels say that you shall be able to tap into that you know inner voice that voice of clarity the voice of intuition and be able to open up to the right path as guided step by step as you move on now we move on to the next sun sign the virgo the archangels governing this sun sign are archangels metatron and archangel ahriel the message says a flow of abundance in many areas is at its onset wow that's wonderful yes and there is so much of abundance of nature all around the greenery and the, yes there have been showers last two three days though there was a storm day before night but yesterday there was this beautiful lovely pleasant showers in the afternoon and then within about 15 20 minutes of the showers i had this calling that was so loud outside my room and i stepped out to see this wonderful gorgeous form of god in the form of a peacock jumping and trotting around on the roof of my room and yes i could capture some beautiful sweet pictures of him and i posted them today on my facebook and insta so yeah have a look at them the virgos are being told that you need to do things that make you happy and be in the gratitude to receive more a move shall be guided to bring more stability to your future you must stop living in the past So this message is extremely important for you to know that there is floodgates of abundance going to open up for you. Now abundance often is only mistaken to money whereas it is not. Abundance is abundance of love, abundance of appreciation, abundance of time, abundance of creativity, abundance of just about every goodness in life and to open up your hearts and arms to receive that goodness from the universe. The angels say that what is actually blocking somewhere is your living in the past. You need to let go of the past. It could be certain aspects of losing a loved one, it could be aspects of, you know, uh, a a great job or a shutting down of business that could have happened and brought you emotionally down, but you need to let that go. You need to bless that event and all the people pertaining to that event. and just move ahead with love and forgiveness and gratitude towards it so that you can extract the maximum maximum sorry blessings out of it they guide you that there is going to be a very very important move in your life that you may need to take in the next few weeks in the near future which would bring about more stability financially emotionally as well and that could be a new opportunity it could be looking out for a new home that could bring more peace of mind to you and your life and your loved ones and family or it could also be getting into a zone of life where you think about marriage or relationship once again where you may have switched off from it due to certain events in your past The next sun sign is Libra and it is governed by Archangel Jophiel. The message says there is a positive momentum building towards your desires. Keep confident in your demeanor. Do not allow anything to break your hope when you are so close to realizing a dream. Forgive yourself and others for any hurtful events in your life. your health or any loved one's health may need attention this message is for librans to bring a little bit of positive momentum in life and that is required because there could have been things that have lowered your confidence there could have been things whereby you may have felt you know these little tinges of unworthiness undeservingness do i really deserve this and oh my god there are six seven of these lovely birds that are trying to pick up some grains from the grass i've not seen all of so many of them together hey lovely ones jai baba <laughs> so the angels say that you 
need to build up on this confidence and do not allow anyone or anything or any of those past events to resonate with your present and break your confidence or worthiness. The angels guide you to forgive yourself and others who may have hurt you in the past. It is also very, very important to forgive your own self. There are many times we hold guilt and regrets for things that we may have done consciously or unconsciously or that which we may have not been able to do due to certain restrictions or limitations that we may have found ourselves in. So the angels guide you that break free from all of that and move towards your desires because there is a great positive momentum picking up. They ask you to forgive all these events and move ahead in your life so that you can open up to achieving your goals and visions. They also kind of nudge you and preempt nothing to really worry or get overwhelmed, but they just nudge you that the health may need attention. So look after your health and see if you've been ignoring any signs or any part of your health, then please pay attention to it, address it, go to a doctor or ask for advice on it but pay attention to it and it could also mean help of any loved one or family members as well and now we move on to the sun sign scorpio the sun sign is governed by archangels jeremiah and gabriel the message says there is a possibility of meeting your ideal partner of life or a business partner look out for like-minded people to create a great synergy. Something that you have been waiting for shall soon manifest or resolve. That is such a reassuring message for all Scorpions. The angels say that you are going to possibly meet your ideal suitable partner of this lifetime or you could meet a great business partner and it could also mean that maybe you already know this person and you're going to take it to another level. So it could either mean meeting the new one or have been met and taking the relationship or business partnership to another level. They ask you to look out for like-minded people to create great synergy. Very often we are caught up in so much of competition in our life that we cannot think about collaboration. But life actually synergizes with collaboration. We all have our unique strengths. And when the combination of these strengths comes together, we can really move mountains. So think about collaboration. Think about creating a synergy with like-minded people. And take a step forward. If there are any limitations which have stopped you from doing that earlier, then break free. Trust people in your life. There may be some little things of mistrust or afraid to trust again for you, which the angels say will come to a resolve and that that problem or thing that you've been waiting for shall soon positively see a manifestation. The next sun sign that we move to is Sagittarius. And the sun sign is governed by Archangel Ragwell. The message says, you may experience conflict regarding a certain matter. The answer to that may be a no and you need to take requisite steps for that. But you will see why this no was a preferred perfect answer in this matter. Trust a close guiding, for, close guiding force. So this is, a, you know, some may feel it's a sad message, but I don't think this is a sad message. Because many a times we do not know the underlying blessing or reason why we are not given something that we have been asking for. And there could be something bigger. Yes, it's a positive way, but it may not just be about, oh, there's something bigger coming. It may not be in that moment of time or immediately that something is coming, but it surely would have a reason why this no was important. So the angels ask you to go within and seek that answer and you will be told why this no was just perfect and why this no was important in this matter. 
So do not feel rejected, do not feel dejected if you receive a no. Or on the other hand, they are also guiding that you may need to say a no for something. So you may be tossing and turning about some matter and thinking, no, I don't think I can say a no. Oh my God, family. Oh my God, this best friend. And how do I say a no? How do I say this? He or she will feel bad when the angels are saying no. You have to put that power of no into action. And you have to utilize that no. And you shall, in time to come, understand and know why this no was required in this matter. They also ask you to trust a close guiding force. So it could be your inner gut feeling, your inner intuition, or it could be an external mentor or, you know, guiding force or uh, a person you look up to or somebody you go for counseling or an elder person in your you know family or relatives or friends so trust that guiding force and know that the next steps will open up for you really really very soon the next sun sign is capricorn the angels governing this sun sign is Archangel Azrael and Archangel Ehrian. The message says, a time to say yay! Many positive happenings will come into full bloom. Newness is the key word. Whether job, career or relationship, embrace and accept. A matter you have been praying for requires you to take a leap of faith. That is such a wonderful message for all the Capricorns. So here is a time to say yay and give gratitude to the universe for all the newness that is going to manifest into your life. It could be a full bloom of a job, a career, or it could be a relationship, it could be a new business or a new venture, or any aspect of newness. Or they are saying you could also kind of, you know, reveal to your own self a new facet of your being, a, a new hobby, a new passion that may suddenly surface this month. And pay attention to it, pay heed to it and bring it to full bloom. They ask you to just be open and embrace and accept and just say, Universe, I am ready and open to embrace and accept all that you have to bring on. A matter that you have been praying for, there could be some matter that has... Uh, over a period of time been pending in your life and the angels say that this month this matter may require a leap of faith so it could mean that you may not be seeing as much of a confident happening in front of your eyes in the tangible world but it may require a gut feeling or an instinctive decision to be made to take that leap of faith and say no mujhe dikh nahi raha hai but i will do it i will take that jump and I will go there I will make this decision and that leap of faith in this particular matter is required from your end the next sun sign is Aquarius the Archangel's governing is Archangel Uriel the message says release all fears and worries that are eating into your success obsess over a solution rather than brood over the problem. Visualize loving, happy outcomes. Things are going to be upswing. Don't block them with the worry energy. Break free. Such a calming message for all the Aquarians that you may be clouded with these, you know, worries, fears and uh, kind of anxiety about job, about matters, about a certain presentation or it could be uh, a certain performance of some sort where you are looking up to opinions and judgments from seniors and others. So the angels guide you to stop brooding over the problem or the concern or the matter and start kind of paying more attention to the solution, to visualizing positive outcome about it to visualize yourself performing well, to visualize yourself really, you know, kind of surpassing all your own and other people's expectations about that matter. 
they say that things are going to be upswing but the only thing that can block is your worry energy so release and break free from this worry energy you know worry is like this uh, treadmill they gave me this beautiful analogy uh, way back while meditating one day that i was worrying about something at that time and you know they kept on telling me and i just could not let go and i said please help me please help me to let go of this worry i really want to let go but you know baba i'm not able to let go of it please take it away from me and this was very early when i just started the journey and they gave me this beautiful example that you are on this worry treadmill the indicator might show you 20 kilometers but you are jogging on the same spot you haven't jogged 20 kilometers around the circle or the arena or the park and that's exactly what it was i was stuck in that spot i was tired because i was sweating and like profusely oof, with that worry some problem but there wasn't any solution to it because i never gave space to the solution to permeate i never opened up for the solution to come my way so when that example was given to me it was like one mountain of you know some big huge thing getting out of my chest and oof, was it like that was that i was doing oh my god no i don't want to do it anymore and was like okay thank you thank you so much and it went about slowly progressively being able to truly let go of that worry and within a few days the solution seeped in and oh what a solution i cannot tell you what it did to my life i stand right in front of you in front of this camera because of that diligent working that was guided constantly and with everything that was guided i was only and only always reminded of one thing that it is only the efforts that are in your hands and not the results so you keep doing what you have to and god will do what he has to and that day to this day and i pray that it so continues forever that i keep 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 praying that i be able to do my best in all aspects and areas of life the way god wills the way he wants to operate through me in whichever way possible the good the bad the ugly is all his nothing is mine and that surrender opens up like you know the mary poppins bag of goodness it just like overwhelms you with you know all the love all all the things that i could ever ever you know not even dream of opening up right in front of your eyes and you know it is like putting a seed of a plant of a flower and the next day seeing it a full bloom rose oh my god i never knew it would come up like this <laughs> you are just so shocked out of your wits but yes that's what the beauty of being in divine surrender is that you keep on with it just like a uh, nurturer just like that farmer just like that you know uh uh person who plants the seed and does not dig into it every single day to see how much it has grown because then the seed is going to die right you be patient to bear the fruits of your efforts and allow the seed to bloom in its season so now we go on to the last one now we go on to the uh, sun sign the pisces and the archangels governing it is archangel sandalphon and archangel gabriel the message says an important project or event that you have been inquiring about or praying for shall manifest successfully within this year or soon after continue your work optimistically see the good in people don't judge anything by what you see as of now This is just what we spoke a few minutes moments back that we are to keep doing our best diligently and await for the fruits to happen to manifest to blossom. So here the sun sign of Pisces is being told that an important project or event that you would really really put all your sweat and hard work in is going to positively manifest into great results. 
and that you have to continue your work optimistically without a batter of an eyelid on anything negative. So there will be challenges. Nothing goes smooth. It is like every time I keep telling uh, our participants and students in our workshops that divinity cannot take the rain away. That is our karmic journey, our karma, our sanskaras. But what it can do is either give us the raincoat and the umbrella or the power to dance in the rain and the storm. So whichever the way, divinity will hold us if we seek their assistance, if we seek that help from God and if we allow God to intervene by letting go our control over situation, over people, or our circumstances. When we truly let go and not pull the knife on the other side, holding the knife which is bleeding us and saying, take the knife, take the knife, take the knife, but not really letting it go. So the angels say, continue your work optimistically, leave the results to God and see the good in people. So there might be people who are pressing your wrong buttons in life. They might be angering you and irritating you and you might be saying, oh God, why do I have these people? But relax and be patient. I just had one such experience very recently as well. And I just thought, Baba, if this is who you want me to work with and if there is some lesson for this person and that is why you put this person into my life for some exchange, then so be it. I'll be patient and then whatever is the result, any which ways is yours. And within a day or two, it changed about and there was a new person who came in to do the same thing, who was more energetically in tune, who was more uh, in sync with what was happening and what we were talking about. And uh, no love lost for that wonderful person who was not there. And in those two days or three days, that, that little uh, struggle of energy of trying to get into the things was happening, that person got so much, is what I see. And I got so much to learning of being with pace of someone else's journey that everybody may not pick up that soon and people may require that time. And it was grace that allowed that patience to operate for me. But because the time was extremely tight in which something needed to turn around, that prayer was just given out that if you deem fit, then you do it. If you think this is the best person and it has to be done through it, and then so be it. So when it was truly surrendered, God did his job. So they ask you to see the good in everyone, see the unique potential in everyone and tap into that potential so that they may be gifted with something new through that event or through that exchange and interaction. We all are living in an interdependent world. Nothing is in solitude. Nothing is on its own. Everything is connected. Every bit of it is connected. Every worm is there so that the hen may eat it. Right? Everything has its purpose. Everything has a cause. Everything has a mission. Everything has a vision. And we need to look into that with that minute microscope of our inner heart, of our inner eyes that belong to that supreme power. So with that, we end our wonderful zodiac sign messages for the month of May. Hope these messages help you and go through our other empowering videos as well on my channel and on the other channel where we have angel messages where we have around 400 plus uh, daily messages that I had done quite some time back but they still stand in posterity because of the energy that it contains. So you can close your eyes and intend for a number between episode 1 to episode say 425 if that was the last one and then whichever number pops up first in your head and heart without any contemplation of my favorite number or this or that just the first number that pops up angels please give me an answer to this and this matter or just give me a message angels and give me a message through a number between 1 to XYZ and whichever number pops up first go and uh, scroll through to find that episode number and view that episode and you shall 500% have a personal message from the angels for you which would be there in it so have a wonderful time ahead there is a lot of manifestation for a lot many sun signs happening 
So take care of yourself, adhere to the guidance, make your notes, break free from all your worries and anxieties and hand it over to God and the angels and enjoy the beautiful summers and wait for the rains. All of us should pray that may the rains be in balance, may the rains be in the essence of prosperity for our farmers and the people who depend on the rain for their living, for their life, for their existence. May Mother Earth be calm and loving and send our love and forgiveness to it, seeking forgiveness for all the wrong that we are doing to Mother Earth and our creation and all of this beautiful universe. We seek forgiveness from Mother Earth and we pray that we get love and wisdom to nurture her and her beings of creation more and more wisely and look after our resources more wisely so that we can live in a better world as time goes by. So stay blessed, loved and protected in love and light and super duper Godspeed.